I think um, if I look back, my my dad was a was a grocer, was a shopkeeper, and I worked in the shop uh, from a very early age, maybe age six, and therefore buying and selling was always it was maybe in the genes, and it was certainly what was talked about round the kitchen table, you know. So I think from an early age that was what I knew, and therefore all of my education at that point was learning from my dad and watching what my dad was doing. So I think that it was just natural that I would go into buy and buy and sell. I think the great thing about Strathclyde is they're open to getting an entrepreneurial mindset through every discipline, whether you're a chemist or a nuclear scientist or engineer, I think an entrepreneurial mindset is an attitude. It's not just about starting your own business, it's about thinking a different way about things. And that's how innovations come about. And Strathclyde is a place for innovations. And therefore, we've got to keep pushing the academics, the court, the principal to keep pushing these boundaries and never rest in the laurels. I don't think you've got any choice. This is the time that you're going out into the world. So there's no point in saying, oh, this isn't a good time. I'll wait for five years. Because you can't. So this is the best time. And you've got to make it the best time. Absolutely. My advice to anybody starting out is, as I say, find something that you're really passionate about because it's going to take over your life. I have not found any successful part-time entrepreneurs. It's an oxymoron. It just doesn't exist. So you're going to live, eat and breathe what you do. You're going to become an anorak. You're going to really know every nook and cranny of your business. So you've got to really like it. You've got to really enjoy it. You've got to enjoy the people you work with, etc. And if you can find that, then the materials, goals will just be knocked down along the way.